So here we're looking at the flood and drain system of hydroponics, also can be called the ebb and flow. Basic setup is an uh, area here where the plants are with a water reservoir below with a pump that will pump the water up, causing this tray area to flood. And then after a period of time, that water will drain back down. This is being set on a timer and this will be repeated uh, as needed depending on the size of the plants. So the flood and drain system basics uh, in more detail, on the hydroponic lecture, this is the same system is not unique uh, to cloning. So you may have heard something like this used for clones, uh, but it can also be used uh, a lot of times for the actual production of the plants. It can be scaled to match operation size, so whether it's a small grow tent or a very large operation, this system can be uh, used in both situations as well as medium-sized operations. The systems include a table, as we see here where the plants are being supported, a pump right here, water reservoir is not pictured, uh, would go where the pump would be sitting in that reservoir, but I removed that for the image, and then the growing media, as we see uh, here where the plants are actively growing. Now the basic operation involves flooding uh, part of the root zone, allowing water to wick up the media before it drains away. Keep in mind the flood only takes a short period of time to saturate the media before it drains away. We're not holding that water there for a very long period of time, typically five to ten minutes at the most. This allows for adequate moisture by still allowing the roots to breathe, because if we left that water there for too long, uh, the roots would essentially drown and not be able to respire. Now, if we're using uh, smaller operations or if we're using this in uh, clone operations, it can utilize humidity domes makes it an easy way to evenly water a large quantity of clones efficiently. Uh, and as I said, it can also be used for large scale production, but because we are pumping that water in from the bottom, we can use humidity domes if they are needed uh, for the growing environment that uh, those plants are being placed in. The drawbacks are that it's dependent on electrical pumps and timers, uh, it's from setup, there's keeping the tray clean, there's installing the tray, there's getting the right table, all of these come into the flood and drain operation. pH needs to be monitored or many clones can be stunted or killed, and the same can go for the full-size plants there. Uh, that we can also stunt or kill even full-size plants, but it'll be much quicker uh, for clones due to their very weak uh, root systems. Now the ebb and flow or the flood and drain, this is what it actually looks like. Easy to use and very reliable. Uh, it utilizes a growing table or bench in this growing bed. It recirculates nutrient solution to reduce loss of that. The solution floods the growing table with one to three inches of nutrient solution, which is allowed to drain down uh, the crop and then refill the reservoir. So what happens here is this lower area here is where the water will be pumped in through actively a pump, and this simply will allow a drain. Now this can be adjusted based on height. We can put another uh, spacer in here to make it even taller if we would like. What this means is that if the pump for some reason was to continually to run, so if the timer was to fail, this would prevent the pump pumping out all the water, burning out the pump and flooding the entire room. Here this would automatically drain back down. Now naturally when the pump turns off, what is great is that the water will backflow back down uh, the hose here and refill the reservoir. Keep in mind that you want to keep the size of the tubing for the pump to be smaller than the size of the tubing for uh, the drain. This way it is impossible for the pump to over uh, compensate for the amount of nutrient solution that can drain back in. As a result, this will maintain a very uh, consistent maximum height, and then your timer will adjust the amount of time that water is spent here. Now this is, as I said, scalable. It can be used for one plant, it can be used for, you know, a million plus plants. It's often used for propagation and clones, but can also be used for large plants as well. What makes this so great is that it's very easy to automate, and this is part of the reason why it can be used on such a large scale. It's commonly used with rock wool, as, as this offers the ability to flush the system and pushes air out on the flood. So what happens as water comes in, it pushes the air out, and as the water drains away, it can pull in uh, fresh air, increasing the oxygen content within those fibers in the root zone. As water drains away from that media, that air is being pulled in. This increases the potential for oxygen concentration to help the roots breathe, which is advantageous for them. It's increasing in popularity. Uh, we're using Rockwell more with the flood and drain. Uh, Grodan is a very popular system to be used with hydroponics. As a result, they have a great lineup of uh, products that allow clones to be easily propagated in them, and then stepped up to these larger blocks, and then they can even go to even larger blocks for large-scale production. Uh, so the Grodan or Rockwool is being utilized in combination with ebb and flow on a very large scale, but it can also be scaled down to smaller operations. 
Now there is a volume, so it's, we, this typically system requires high volumes of water, but losses can be reduced with sealable reservoirs. Keep in mind when we are sealing that reservoir, we don't want to keep it completely airtight. We just want a lid over that to help reduce the amount that may be lost to evaporation. Because uh, that can be one way if we lose that water um, at a very increased rate, what will happen is the nutrient solution may become more concentrated in that reservoir if it's not monitored. So again, just a couple of things to keep in mind, but ebb and flow is a very popular method, very efficient method, and one that be, should be considered for any grow operation.